Yeah, uh, I mean, I think they are, they're space people. So, you know, if you're making a movie and you're looking for a thread to tie these things together, you know, you don't need much more than the fact that they're not Earthlings. Well, I'm just trying to figure out from Marvel's point of view, it's like they're doing Eternals and Marvel's always been good at going, hey, we've got this and this and this and we kind of tie it all together. Eternals is way the fuck over here next to everything else. So it's kind of like where, what's the tie that brings them in? And well, aren't they related to Thanos some sort of way as Celestials? I don't believe they are. Now the, the Celestials, if they're related to the Celestials, that's the tie then. Because yeah. Celestials, if I'm remembering correctly, they created the Kree. They're the one that create, well created the Inhumans, I'm sorry. The Lessos created the Eternals and the, um, was, was the, the bad guys, the uh, Mysvians or some shit like that? I can't remember. Oh, the, um, the opposite of the Eternals, right? Yeah. They, that's, they created them. They're like the original humans in the universe. Right. The, the primor primordials or whatever they called them. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I was expecting a trailer to drop at Comic-Con. This is goes back into us talking about hey yeah. Comic Con didn't happen the way we thought it was. Um you know, this movie as far as I know or as far as I've heard is done, right? Like I haven't heard anything about reshoots or, you know, stopping up production due to COVID. I thought that they were pretty much done. I heard September for a trailer. Mm. Mm. That's trailer. what I heard. Um I, th I think they're having like a special on ABC or some shit like that. I swear I heard something like that and they're going to show trailers there. I'm not sure. Their counterparts are the Deviants. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's crazy how these, not all these books are still really cheap. You could get yep. these pretty all raw. They're all super cheap. I think I found yeah. number two and number three in uh, my little three dollar thing, you know. So should have picked them yeah. up. They were out there, man. <laughs> no, I got them. Yeah, I I, I got all, number got one, them. number two, and three. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's Eternals, bro. Yeah, one, yeah. three, five. Those are all keys, man. I mean, this is gonna be the next Guardians of the Galaxy. Imagine if you could pick up the first appearance of Gamora for fifty dollars yeah. or less right now. Mm. So at least from Wiki, it says. The Celestials visited Earth. Mm -hmm. They created the pro. They took proto humanity. They created the Divergent Race, and Long Live Eternals, yeah. and the Deviants. But they also went to other places and experimented, and they created the Kree and the Scrolls. Yeah. So that's your tie right there. Yep. Which leads me to believe I. I honestly think we're gonna get. Captain Marvel's run is going to be we're going to get Secret Wars and then we're going to get the Avengers uh, Kree Scroll War. So since we're on the Captain America um, Captain subject, Marvel. Oh, Captain Marvel. Um, we got um, a question from one of our viewers. Um, this is from uh, Northgate Comics. He said, great conversation from another book coming out on the 29th. Do you think there's anything to this introduction of Carol Danvers' half-sister in is issue 18? Um, of her title. I would say the, the thought crossed my mind, right? Anytime you introduce the fact the that I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> and I um, hate the character. Yeah, you, Captain, you would do think you hate it the character has to do Captain something. Marvel or do you hate the person that was playing Captain playing. Marvel in the movie? I'm not a big fan of Captain Marvel in general. I've never thought she was a great character. I thought she was better as binary. I just felt they've never until recently, they haven't been able to figure out what to do with her. That's why she has so many different uh, names. I mean, she had Warbird, she had Captain Marvel, she had Ms. Marvel, she had Binary. Mm -hmm. And I just feel that they went with this, oh, do this Captain Marvel thing and made her militant. She's just boring. 
But these Captain Marvel, uh, you know, uh, first appearances that come up in her book always take heat. I mean, they said Miss Marvel took off on her heat. What's her star is another one that took uh, off. And now, we, <clears throat> now we got this one, right? Come all the con, right? Yeah. yeah. Miss Marvel. Yeah. It's so like, um, go ahead. go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. No, I'm just saying like, uh, they take heat all the time. Yeah. yeah so I, Captain Marvel's always on my poll. So I, I collect yeah. her. I do like what they're doing with her right now. I yeah. feel if you're looking for similarities, it, it, she's like kind of like green lantern. So if you like Hal Jordan, you're going to like uh, Captain Marvel. Um, so that that's how I would compare them. Now going into this new character, this half sister that is a spoiler, I don't even know what to say it, but essentially she's a clone perhaps. I mean, it's they just took DNA from the mom and kind of put it all together. And this is what you get. Um, so I think- she's a clore? <laughs> Could be. I, she's. They took just DNA and just kind of like boiled it together, and this is what you get. So, I like the character, um, but again, I don't know too much about it. Uh, she just made an appearance. She, she, she looks good. So whoever designed the costume and designed her appearance, like I am all for it. But again, we don't know too much about her character at all and what she was doing on that planet per se other than um, Captain Marvel was there to um, essentially uh, pass judgment on her. I mean, that's, mm. that's all we get. So um, at the end of the story, she's there with Captain Marvel flying off. And now Captain Marvel's in, in deep trouble because she took her half sister with her to save her because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. um, she didn't want to pass judgment. So I, it'll be interesting to see what happens. It's her first appearance. Again, there's not too much depth wait and see uh i mean that's how i would approach it um i just take a look oh, wow. uh if, if and, and just kind of wait but again uh, it's it's a half sister uh and again it, it's i would it, it would be a wait and see approach for her yeah. there's a couple things i want to unwrap there real quick sure one thing one thing is i don't know if she'd be hal jordan um just because i like hal jordan i don't like her I, I think she's more I of a the John powers Stewart. Are different. Is a grab, I think she's, I think she's no. more of a John Stewart. I think the powers are different, though. Like the ring is cool versus no, no, we're being talking similarities. Superman. Come on, we're I, not I, talking I, about I, I, could, I could see, I Come could on. see personality if you went with John Stewart. They're in space. I could see that more because let, let's be honest. Hal Jordan's a whore. <laughs> what? Hal Jordan's <laughs> flat out a whore. He is. A, he's a space hoe. He just flies around. Um, but also, you forgot to mention that she's now got Ronan the Accuser's hammer. Yeah. That and she's able to make it sing, which no one else has been able to do. So it's kind of I'm kind of wondering if maybe she's they're going to reveal that she's connected to Ronan in some way. That mm. she's maybe an ancestor of Ronan, the mm. Accuser, since he's dead. I guess. Well, I wouldn't be surprised that the half sister appears in the movie. We'll see. We'll see. Well, have they done clones yet in uh, the MCU? Yes, Clore. So Clore is Clone Thor. They in did the MCU? it. Yes. Uh, that's why Alonzo laughed because he knew what I was talking about. I, I want to say, what was it? Was it Civil War One that Tony created Clore? That he created. Uh, oh, you're talking about in the Thor? comics. You're talking about in the comics. Oh, comics. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's, yeah, you're talking about Ragnarok. You say MCU. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or Clore. That 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 Olivia Copelli um, run was awesome, right? With, with Ragnarok come down and he just tears up um, Iron Man. Yeah. That's yeah. That was awesome. Wow. But in in the in the movies, have they done clones yet? If they, they have not done the clones yet. Then Carol's sister's up for grabs. Then you know if they've already Hopefully, done clones, I would say it's probably. Hopefully not they save it for Spider-Man. Get some right. maximum clonage. God. Come on, we got to serve Ben Riley first. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they got to sample you, their DNA or something. Give me, give not... me Tom Holland with a scar across his face or something. Yeah. No, we'll get Miles Morales, the older version. What's isn't uh, he a villain like in the book? I want Ben Riley. He is. A, he is. Ultim- ultimatum or something like that. 
Uh, it, the version, the six one six version of Miles mm -hmm. Morales is a is a villain, and he's yeah. a yep. lot older. But he has an ugly scar on his face. Yeah, so he it's does. Like super he does. ugly. It's not that like kind of cool Kratos scar that I would imagine even Ben Riley to. Yeah. Oh come on! They cleaned up Baron Zemo. They they got to give someone some ugliness. Yeah, they Deadpool. Up Deadpool has Doom. all the ugliness. I mean, I'm even hearing they're talking about making Doom pretty. Oh, well, they did no. the books, right? In Secret Wars, they restored his face. He's had it a couple <clears> different <throat> times where he's been pretty. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, I think his face is fine now. He just wears a mask. And his yeah. uh, Iron Man run, he was uh, he was pretty. Yeah. Yeah, he's good to go. Which is a great run if you ever get a chance to read. Um, but but back to that uh, comment, I would it's it, it's a wait and see kind of even with with Star that character, like she was introduced in the early issues, um, but they didn't have any real character development. I mean, it's just a first issue, just kind of wait and see. Um, I would definitely buy it, um, but then again, I would just just kind of be patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a it's a book that's worth um, that's kind of skyrocketed overnight. I was looking at it. I was like, "Wow, how much is it now?" It's like thirty bucks for thirty to thirty-five dollars for both covers on a for a lot. It's not bad, you know. It's not so, bad. Yeah, I'm, I I got lucky. It was on the rack still. I was like, "Wow, I, I can't mean, believe it's still there." She's no Red Goblin, but she'll be good. Yeah, it's funny, man, because I just took Captain Marvel off my pool, and then freaking she showed up the next week. I'm like, "Really, bro?" I'm like, "What?" The? You know? <laughs> how they do it? Happens. That's what they're doing, man. I was like, there's nothing really happening here. It's kind of quiet. And I knew it was yeah. going to happen. I knew like a Kamala Khan or a star was going to pop up like eventually, right? Out of nowhere in her books. And they always kind of like take some heat, you know, get that's, some heat off it. That, that's why I always say Amazing Spider-Man, man. It's been really quiet the last 10 issues. Uh, something's going to happen, I think. Yeah, pick up 850. Spider-Man's going to die. <laughs> Please. Again? Is that right Again? Permanently, please. <laughs> you know, if we ever have like jerseys or something and put names on the back, but mine's gonna say Red Goblin. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be. <laughs> hey, man, you, you're you're invested in that Red Goblin, that uh, the the modern uh, Red Goblin, as much as we are now. I've so. got two of them. I know, I know. You're invested, bro. Yep, you're invested. You're invested. If you would have seen it for twenty bucks, you would have picked it up too. Oh, I would have. Oh, hey, without a no it's, doubt. It's it's, it's yeah. a good thing I'm heavily invested in that that uh, Red Goblin. I know. Me too, man. Like, geez, I'm so invested in that thing. How I'm much is that going waiting. for now? How much is the raw going for? And, and you guys know? I don't I think know. I looked. It was like seventy. Hey, bro, how much did you pay for that nine eight? I forgot. Oh, I paid one twenty. It sold for two hundred. Nice. Yeah. It's, I'm gonna wait though. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna be patient. Patient on the sidelines, right? As, as you should. As you should. Better yeah. sell before next week. <laughs> <laughs> She's the next Miles there's, Morales, there's, bro. What are you talking about? There's, there's big plans. There's big plans. If we had San Diego Comic Con, you know there'd be a ton of cosplayers. Oh, you, that would you, be punchline. You know that with Clown Killer coming, he's got to earn that name. He's got to kill some clown. Oh, yes. Harley, Harley, Joker. Harley Quinn 75, right? That's a great point. But why would you, man? Like, you already uh, have this following of uh, Punchline. Why, why would you uh, get rid of her so quick? They're, they're, they're resetting the off, universe. That would piss me off. No more DC for me. Out. No, they're not. <laughs> She's making too much money, dude. Yeah. Dude. DC's going to reset. Watch. Money think... talks. Let's go watch. I think not having Comic Con hurt Punchline the most because you know if we were at um, San Diego, Dude, everybody would be punchline, right? Like it was, that hurt. That hurt the most, man. You see that girl that uh, the Tinian was a Tinian? No, Jimenez uh, put on uh, as a cosplayer on his Instagram. Oh, I gotta check that. Let me. I'll, yeah, I'll put it up he, right uh, here. It was some Japanese girl, dude. She killed it as a cosplayer. Really? For, was she, uh, she punchline? Yeah, punchline. Yeah. Yeah, Jimenez put her on uh, on his Instagram. You know what? At San Diego Comic Con or th their booth. They had a punchline T-shirt. I might just get it. I might just get yeah. it now, and I might get one for you, Jr. I needed one yet, one yesterday, bro. What's going on? Yeah, Jr. If 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 her nine point eight ever hits four hundred dollars, you got to wear a 
Um, uh, we'll buy you a shirt and you have to wear it on the on the show, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sport yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Wear with pride that punchline. We're, we're gonna make sure it's, it's a I small. I don't. It's gonna be. I a actually small. don't hate. I don't hate the character. I just oh, think she's God. gonna be the gimmick for right now. So you guys know, I just threw a red goblin T-shirt in the chat. <laughs> Wasn't Rick Dublin coming back or something? Oh, that t-shirt's <laughs> sick. <laughs> oh, I love it. Man, let me see this uh, thing. Yeah. No. So, so oh, t-shirt does God. not mean you gotta that wear that. You gotta wear stay that. popular forever. So that's all you. That's all you. I'll put it. I'll put it up. <laughs> It's by Rage On. Nice. That's horrible. That's, that's horrible. That, that, it's, that I, horrible. I can imagine Jr. wearing that shirt already. We're all pitching in. We're gonna buy that for Jr. Yeah. All right. We know right? fabric. If that if that punchline hits four hundred, you have to wear that, man. Yeah, Red Goblin. We will all put in on that one, bro. Yep. <laughs> yep. Tell us what size right now, man. Come on. <laughs> Well, don't you get it, man? When extra she small. dies, <laughs> well, no, you got to like, make it extra tight. <laughs> whatever, whatever size you are is gonna get. It's gonna Red Goblin's eyeballs make the eyes so pop deep. out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, her dying would be kind of perfect, though, right? Like, it's a joke. She's the punchline, right? It's all there. Yeah, no, no. It's no. all there. <laughs> it is all the the tea leaves are there. It's just Batman having a dream. I mean, how long have you been collecting, Alonzo? Oh, years. Years. I mean, you're in decades, right? Yes. So, I mean, you know how the industry is. They put some cute thing out there just to go get everyone to go, oh. And they got the hammer behind their back, and then you just fucking smash it. So, yeah, but no what one's, they do. No but, one's but used dead. You're right. No you're, you're and totally villains, right. villains but, but, die all the time. No, but here's the back. thing, though. I mean, it, she is definitely like the character of the month. Let's just say, right? I mean, but you also have to <laughs> in look the at, longest month ever. I know, COVID. but you also have to look <laughs> at, at Spider Gwen, who was it was exactly the same thing. Yeah. Same thing also happened with um, Gwenpool. I mean, you have a lot of these like examples of stuff happening that just tend to catch fire, and it has to do with cosplayers or people. Kind of wanting something new and fresh a fresh take on something and i think punchline is it i mean you could totally be right jr you, and, that and, as well. you know but also too you could you could be wrong and the thing is like i oh yeah i i just i like the character i i think the way she's been designed i think it's good um i like the backstory as well um so i think there's there's a lot of potential for this character oh no dude Everything I've read with her in it so far, I've enjoyed. I think she's been a good character so far. I just kind of look at it as I've bitten that apple one too many times and gotten stung. And I'm just looking at it going, she's too good to be true. You've got Harley out there. Basically makes Harley redundant. And when she, Harley's going to be in Suicide Squad coming down in a couple of years, you're not going to phase out. I don't care what people say they make kill harley and then bring her back a couple months later i don't think they make harley redundant because harley's going in a whole different direction harley's fan base is as positive as she's a, she's a she's a hero now yep punchline is going to be yeah. that dirty yep. cunt that fucking stabs everybody in the back yep. that's a, that's going to be her character so she'll but, be that so yeah, there's that, I'm with it Rob. is possible yeah I but mean, there's uh, but you, trust me as an asshole there's <laughs> only so long that people enjoy assholes and they just finally go, get that shit out of here. Well, yeah, we'll take a break. She'll disappear yeah. like everybody, and then she'll come back. And then she'll I mean, and she'll all I over mean, when you see, it's, it's, When the fans see that I'm off the, off the show for like three months, we know what's happened here. I got retired for a little while to get the villain off, and then bring him back. <laughs> the villain. <laughs> you're, 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 you're about $50 in now, aren't you, with Punchline? About 50 bucks. <laughs> so, bro, 25 bucks. Yeah. 25 no, I mean, bucks. Like, even even the, to 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 Big Rob's point, I mean Harley's a good guy now, you know. Yeah. yeah. So Punchline is is that bad guy, 
and you and Joker and Harley were kind of like synonymous together. So mm-hmm. now it's just somebody kind of replacing it, which again, JR, you've also mentioned in, in previous shows. So it's, I think she's here to stay. And if she gets a hiatus, I mean, the same thing happened with Harley. I mean, she had her series with, with Terry Dodson doing all the art and it took a hiatus. Yeah. And then it came, they re, they brought her back and re kind of imagined her um, with, you know, Pal- Palmiotti and, and Connor. And it's again, a different kind of character. Um, so I, I it, there's there's room in the DC universe to have both. Mm-hmm. I, guess, I guess I could see that, well, but we'll see. I mean, it's a long year. We got at least another twelve oh, months fuck. this year. It's a fucking long year. <laughs> it's man. true. It's the, long, it. long time, bro. the longest year of my life. <laughs> the longest fucking year of my life, man. Damn. But uh, <laughs> twenty twenty. Can we just void you out? Just void twenty twenty out. Yeah, this 2020 never happened, man. Can we just... I don't even want to redo it. Let's just, yeah. like, jump. No, that's what I'm just saying. Just yeah. void. Skip it. It's over. Why December 31st? Oh, January 1st hits and it's fucking 2020 again. Groundhog Day and shit. <laughs> Damn, man. So, you one... Better, you want to party the first two months. Fuck. Yeah. One last quick question. You're getting 1200 bucks from our from Uncle Trump. What you going to spend on, Ian? I'm going to Palm Springs again, bro. <laughs> uh-huh. visit your girl, bro? Dude, <laughs> she is. He's gonna go buy me that. She's an awesome statue. person. Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> this guy. No, yeah. No, man. I, I'm, I'm down. Go ahead, Rob. What are you gonna spend it on? If I was buying a book, uh, yeah. this is I'm, hypothetical. I'm, I'm looking at 181 or X Men One. Nice, Alonzo. Uh, Giant size X Men. Yeah. And Nick, man, you guys, you guys are gonna make it so we have to cut this out of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Moon Knight um, number one. I know no, Trump no. bucks, baby. 20, yeah. 20 well, Moon Knight like, number ones. Twenty Moon Knight number ones. No, I'm probably gonna buy a, yeah, on the comics, and, and I'm not trying to say this to suck up the jar or anything, but I've been looking for an ASM fifty for a long time. It's so it's so big right now, though. I don't want to really buy it. I kind of want to buy one like a. I want a seven, but I only want to pay like five hundred bucks. And everyone wants eight hundred for it. But you know, it was five hundred last year. I don't know. Maybe I'll hold on to my money. Maybe I'll buy Bitcoin. Rob. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Rob for sure. Hey, if I would buy a modern, it'll be that uh, Soka that one that uh, Alonzo has a variant. Yeah, so I'd be looking for the one you have. The regular one? Just to, just to have one of them. Dude, that, it was 200 bucks for the whole run back then. That's what I paid. Yeah, I know. Awesome. That I was know. a great get, Big Rob. Yeah, 200 bucks. I did not find that at the, I did not find that at the Honey Pot. They had them. $3? <laughs> no. <laughs> they didn't have them, man. Oh. Damn it. Well, what, what would you get, uh, JR? What are you going to do with it? And the true answer is going to taxes. But, uh... What I'd probably do is go after Clone Wars number one. Mm-hmm. I think it's got the biggest upside right now of characters. Um, so you, I just, st- you still think that there's a, a, a lot more room in, yeah, in that book? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Because okay. think about this. You're going to get... A, you've got the Mandalorian with all the Emmy nominations. If it gets one real non-technical Emmy win... If it gets best new drama or anything for acting, yeah, all of a sudden more people are going to start watching the show. Everyone was watching that show. More people are going to watch that show. If you get someone like Rosario Dawson, which I cannot stand, but she's a great actress, pulls it off. If she pulls that role off and they bring that character in there, that character is going to blow up. Yep. This is what's also going to happen in this is it's going to put more power in the Filoni and Favreau camp, which is going to cause that divide, and Kennedy's gone. They're probably going to go, okay, we're just going to errata, we're going to retcon taking um, the new trilogy out, forget Ray, forget all of them, and we're going to, we've got our female character, this powerful female character that everyone loves already. They're going to put her in movies. They're going to start making Ahsoka movies. And, and it's in the perfect time. And do you just, know what's a... 
what's a good uh, good side with uh, that Ahsoka? I is know what Sabine. that is. Yep. And, Issue and number are, six. You, you were right. I was wrong. The first appearance, first full appearance of Sabine is in issue six. No, the one in 25, Dr. Aphra, dude. That's yeah, that's good. that's the one I want to get to. That's the one but I got to talk about now because it's about to, it's about to take off. Well, especially since they just came out with the, an audio book of hers, which was pure garbage. Um, but she's going to be, they're going to, if if Disney has a chance, they're going to stick right around that post Return of the Jedi time frame, that five to ten years. I think you're at, praying right now. You, no. that, that's what we all want, and we'll, they won't do it. Why, uh, but it, why not? Why if, if you've got if you bring an Afra in there, you've got Thrawn, you've got boring? Ahsoka. No. Ron I mean, is going to have his own show. They've already said they're doing a, a live action Thrawn show. They're talking about bringing Brie Larson in as <laughs> as uh, Mar or, Mar or uh, Mara Jade. I kind of like I, I don't That's, know. I yeah. You've also heard Iger. Or before he left, right? Now you're saying that they were wrong about Star Wars, that they were doing too much Star Wars too quickly, you know. The Mandalorian then, happened. Though. The Mandalorian happened, yep. so now it looks like a Disney Plus thing. So I don't, I, I kind of think that the the Star Wars books are a little high right now for for like how quickly they may be on the pedal for like TV shows and movies. You don't know, you don't, you don't know us rabid ass Star Wars fans, do you? I know you guys, I know you guys are like, we don't, we don't really give into up. it. We don't, we don't give a fuck, bro. We don't give a fuck, bro. That's the thing is, we don't care, every, man. Right. We don't care. Every one of those, every, anytime anything Thrawn comes out, it's snatched up like that. The books, all that, all the toys, the statues. I mean, I was showing them earlier that, Ahsoka Tano Gel Giant minibus came out last year. It's 120. It's selling for like 800 plus a year later on on eBay. I, and I think that character, I'm I'm so interested to see how it's going to work. It's one of those characters that's like great in animation. How is it going to look if she has two makeup oh, thingies on the side of her got, head? You know. But I gotta tell you about Sabine though, man. And like Sabine, like I seen cosplayers of Sabine, and like she's gonna be dope in the movies, bro, or whatever. Yeah. Disney Plus. And, and I was just like, yeah, she's gonna be good, man. And especially if they do her as an Asian character, which she kind of looks to be somewhat Asian in the comics. There's not very many Asian characters in the Star Wars universe. I mean, you've got Rose. Rose. But but no one's gonna give it's a gonna shit be, about Rose it's, when it's you got a Mandalorian Rose. running around. I know. You got Donnie Yen, oh, man. Right. I want I want a he Donnie died. Yen. He died, bro. I want a Donnie Yen prequel. He's the one that should have got a comic. I lost his eyesight. Right? Oh man. Donnie Yen is just badass in everything he does. I no, he, he was No, they yeah, they man. were awesome. And I mean everything I've even read the little book that they did for him and the guy with the big gun. I forget the guy's name. I wish they do Donnie Yen because I'm all in about Rogue One comic book, so <laughs> but I mean, yeah. I'm telling, I'm telling you, if they're pushing with Marvel, they're going to push the diversif diversifying stuff. They're going to do the same thing as Star Wars, and they're going to, if, if they can get anything comes out of Soka, those stupid ears that came out of May the Fourth. Remember how fast those sold out? Hundred bucks, right? Yeah, those are mad crazy to get. Anything of Soka is just going nuts. If they can do her right on the show, they're going to exploit her in movies. I think I do think Dawson can do her right. I do. I do think they go. I do think they are going to. Right now, the next three movies are going to be focused on the High Republic, because that's all the Jedi stuff, and they can go back to the Sith and Jedi and all that. But I think if you start <clears> seeing <throat> Emmys and stuff, and and Filoni's in charge. They're going to go, this guy knows what he's doing. Because he's got Rebels under his belt. He's got Clone Wars. He's got Bad Batch coming. What's that, Rob? Right now, two days, basically three days left. Clone Wars 1, 9.8, 11.36. Oh, 
Whoa! That's crazy, bit. though. 19 bit. Like, you can get a first appearance of Wolverine, you know, at, he, he, at yeah. those rates. You know, you add 700 bucks on there. You got There's still three days. Size right. X-Men. Wow. Yeah, you know, like, so that's that's kind of what I was saying is I think these are a little ex- inflated. I'm, Maybe I'm there's a Star Wars I'm, bubble, you know? <clears throat> I'm telling you. This if, guy's asking if, 1900 bucks. buy it now. And I think... For a modern by, book. By the end of the year, I think it will hit two grand. Yeah. If she, if she shows up Number eight. on this show... <laughs> If she shows up on the show and does at least two episodes, it's not like, oh, here's the cameo. Wait to next season to see her. And if that show gets any type of like recognition Emmy wise, mm-hmm. that's not technical. I I'm telling you, that book is going to shoot up. Hmm. I I might be persuaded to drop it then. Hmm. Well, um, you heard it from here. Go get a Clone Wars number one. <laughs> you know. Or a uh, or um a uh, a canon number, number six. six. Yeah. That's that's the one that there's a lot of room on that book. A lot of room. Darth Maul number two. Nick has Nick has two of mine. Let's let's get it. You know, like find them. But uh, thanks a lot for joining us again for uh, the Team Nerd Herd podcast and our top picks and our what if. We really appreciate it. But um, Jr. What's up, man? You want to tell the world on where else you can find us? Uh, you can find us on Instagram and on Facebook with the name Team Nerd Herd Podcast, all one word. Uh, we're always putting out updates on both the platforms. We have questions that we put out there. S- give us some topics, stuff like that. You can talk smack about us. Tell us what book you think is going to be hot. Um, and that's about it over there. Anything else we got, Ian? Nope. Um, and uh, if you can, just leave a comment um, on below. We'd really appreciate it. And that helps us with this uh, YouTube um, algorithm that we're trying to catch. Um, but uh, thanks a lot for joining us again. And um, we really appreciate all the support. And uh, Nick, you want to take us out, bro? Yeah, man. Because if you want to do it right, collect what you like. Boom. <laughs>